Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5068861 because of this error code that is 0x800 F0983. Now the first step is to run this scan. So type in CMD in Windows search box. Make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command. All the commands are provided in the video description. Paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time. It will run a scan. Once the scan is 100% complete, in my case, it is already done. Then copy the second command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. Once the second scan is 100% complete, then copy the third command, paste it on the same window. Once the third scan is 100% complete over here, then restart in beer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. Pause and restart the update. So go to Windows update over here in Windows settings. And then over here you can see pause option, hit pause. And then once paused, click on resume updates. So this may take some time. Now click on resume updates. Open Windows settings once again and try it once again. Now click on resume updates and once it is done, then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start these services. Type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Windows update in the list. Scroll down here. You can see Windows update. Make a double click on Windows update and then set this to automatic and then click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok make a right click on windows update click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted now make a right click and then click on restart Now find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness over here, set this to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted, and then make a right click, and then click on restart. Now once this is done, now you can update. Still not working, use Microsoft update catalog. Now for this you can go to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. And then over here, write down the name of the update that is KB5068861. Click on search. Now check the version. So type in WINVER in Windows search box and then click on WINVER run command. So in my case, the version is 25H2 over here. Then check the system type. So go to Windows settings system, go to about option. And in my case, it's 64 bit operating system. Now for me, it's Windows 11 version 25H2, version 25H2 x64 base system. This is the right one for me. If you have Windows 11 version uh, 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. For me, this is the right one. And then click on download. And then click on KB5068861 and let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can click on this file and follow the on-screen instruction and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to use fix problems using windows update so open windows settings go to windows update advanced option scroll down click on recovery option here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done now restart the computer and then check. Still not working. The last step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft website. On this website, scroll down. Here you can see media creation tool. Click on download now. And then you can run this exe file. Run this exe file. And then you have to click on accept over here. By default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file over here and then click on next. You can save it to desktop. Click on save. 
let the download complete this process will take some time once done click on finish option and then let it close automatically this will take a couple of seconds so maybe a minute to close now go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then update your windows 11. so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel